hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain the repeated coding questions of kpit these questions are repeated in april and may 2021 the first coding question is based on the oval count this is the question they asked look at the question once they have given input string output and analysis also they have given some constraints also those constraints are we have to consider both uppercase and lowercase letters also in the input string and the second constraint is even if the ovals are repeated we have to count those ovals also first input is string we have to pass one string as an input for the function after that the function will return the count oval which means we have to count the number of ovals in that input string and we have to return the oval count in that input string they have given some examples see those first one is computer in this string there are three ovals o u and e second one is sky there is no ovals in this string so the output would return zero for this third one is college in this there are three ovals and fourth one is yellow there are two ovals in this string these are all the constraints for the program and this is the code for this program i'll explain code also first of all we have to calculate the length of the string because we have to iterate the entire string of each character in the string and after that we have to take one for loop for iteration after that i'll converting the entire string into lower case because there is a constraint that we have to consider both upper case and lower case so that i am converting the entire string into lower case after that for every iteration of the string i am checking that if the character is considered as a oval or not the ovals are a e i o u so that i am checking that the the particular character is oval or not if it is oval i am incrementing the count so that we can predict the count of ovals in a input string this is a code for uh, oval count and the second coding question is this see this in this program we have to perform right rotation on a given string by n positions they have given one input string and number of characters to rotate based on the number of characters we have to rotate the input string for example see the second one they have given a b c d x y z and the second input is 2 which means it is the number of characters to rotate the string see the output last two characters are rotated those are y and z at the first positions and see the last example they have given the number of characters to rotate greater than the length of the input string in that case we have to return the input string only these are all the constraints for this program this is the code for this first of all i am calculating the length of the input string because uh, if the length is less than the the number of characters to be rotate in that case we have to return the input string as it is so that i am returning the input string if not that case we have to rotate in else case i am taking one for loop to iterate the input string and after that i am storing the last values because we have to rotate the string i am storing the last value in last variable after that i am replacing the last character to first character so that i am taking another for loop and after the rotations will be over i am returning the string these two are the repeated coding questions of kpit in april and may hope it is useful if you have any queries regarding the recruitment process i have already made a video on that i'll provide the video link in description once go through that for any other queries you can contact us in our telegram group the link is provided in the description if you like the video please like the video please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching